In this video, we've been asked to find the height of a tree given a certain angle of elevation. And the idea of angle of elevation isn't really anything special. It's just a particular angle within a triangle. So in this particular example, we've been told that we have a tree and it's on perfectly horizontal flat ground. And the tree we're assuming is perfectly vertical. So if we imagine that this side of our triangle is the tree and maybe we could draw the tree here to indicate that this is the tree, this is the top of the tree. We know it's on perfectly flat ground and the tree is perfectly vertical, which would make this a 90 degree angle. So we can indicate 90 degrees. And then we're imagining that we have a person over here standing 120 feet away from the tree. And we're told that the angle of elevation from the person to the top of the tree is 21.4 degrees. So we're going to call this 21.4 degrees. So if we say that the angle of elevation is the angle theta, then we're dealing with theta in standard position in a right triangle, which means we can call this 120 feet the adjacent side, this the opposite side, and then this is the hypotenuse. We've been asked to use this information to find the height of the tree. So finding the height of the tree, the first thing we want to do is remember that the three interior angles of a triangle are always going to sum to 180 degrees. Since we have two of the angles, we can find the third one. We'll just take the total, 180 degrees, and then subtract 90 degrees and 21.4 degrees, and our result is 68.6 .6 degrees. So we can say that this angle here is 68.6 .6 degrees. Now, if we remember the rule, this Sokotoa rule, that tells us that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, then we could certainly say that cosine of our angle of elevation, 21.4 degrees, so cosine of that angle, 21.4 degrees, is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is 120 feet, and we're dividing that by the hypotenuse, which we're just calling C for now. The reason that we used the cosine portion of Sokotoa first is because the only side of the triangle that we have is the adjacent side, which means we would have wanted to use cosine or tangent, but cosine is going to be easier to evaluate than tangent. So we pick that value, we will multiply both sides by C, and we'll get C times cosine of 21.4 is equal to 120, and then we will divide both sides by cosine of 21.4 to leave us with C is equal to 120 divided by cosine of 21.4, and when we use our calculator to find the value of C, we see that C is approximately equal to 128.8859. So we can say that the length of the hypotenuse here is 128.8859 feet. And now we can use this information we just found, the length of the hypotenuse, to find the length of the opposite side, which is also the height of the tree. So this time, if we take sine of the angle of elevation, so sine of 21.4, Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So since we're using this angle, we want the opposite side, which is B, divided by the hypotenuse, which we just found, so 128.8859. So then if we want to find B, we just multiply both sides by 128.8859, and we get B is equal to 128.8859 times sine of 21.4. And when we use our calculators to figure this out, we get B is equal to approximately 47.0275. And if we round that to the nearest foot, we round to 47 feet. So we can say that the height of the tree is approximately 47 feet. And that's how you use the angle of elevation to find the length of the side of the triangle. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.